Right, if you didn't know, West Ham are a club owned by David Sullivan and David Gold, who as a collective are known as the Dildo Brothers, on account of their specific way they've earned their money. <laughs> well this particular Dildo Brother managed to convince another human to put down the Dildo and pop out a child instead. This is that child. I'm Jack, I'm 18, I'm the youngest football boss in the UK for a women's football team. That was the one, that was good. I felt that one. First off, he's 18, okay, and he looks about 12, and I'm not just saying that, he genuinely looks about 12, but there's not one blemish on that face. Incredible skin, but you know, he is the son of a very wealthy man, so I just assume for breakfast he just eats the poor and just regenerates skin every day. Pretty sure I learned that in science. That's how it works. Oi oi, there he is. There's Daddy Dildo. What mentalist gets a photo or a painting commissioned of himself and then framed on the wall? I, it looks like something you would find in North Korea, except it's an Essex in a mansion. A mansion paid for with dirty dildo money. Has anyone ever said dildo money before? I don't know. But I'm, I'm bringing it back. Dildo money. I went round ticketing, uh, retail, warehouse. That was instead of doing my A-levels. As soon as that year finished, I said, Dad, I want to do something. I want like a task, a mission. What? You went on ticketing, retail, warehouse. I don't know what that means. What, what does ticketing a warehouse mean? What, I don't know. What, I'm, I'm too common to understand what that means. But come on, if you you can't be doing that at 14. At 14, you're meant to be convincing someone's parent to go to the shop to buy you three litres of Frosty Jacks, getting drunk in a skate park, and then setting fire to anything you can find. We want set fire to concrete. That's not possible. But it, it we set on fire. I think I might be the idiot here. I want to do something, I want like a task, a mission, and that... Holy shit. Is that Kim Yong Sullivan? Ha <laughs> ha! Synergy. Oh, fuck that up. Let's do it again. Is that Kim Yong Sullivan? Oh my god. Synergy. Jokes. Pure, co absolute comedy. He's commissioned a painting of three of him. Three of them. Doing like some weird sort of celebrity phoning. Either that or he's cold calling people about dildos. Hi oh there darling, can I tempt you to spare a couple quid for the Sullivan Foundation? If not, we do offer a free dildo donation service where you can donate your unwanted plastic cocks for people in need. In need of cock? I mean, I can't speak highly enough of him, to be honest. Oh, stop it. Oh my word. Glasses, what, what's going on there? That's peak Magaluf 2007. All he needs now is a two for tenner top man shirt and a terrible attitude towards women. And he's got the full, the full outfit to go to Magaluf. Woo! Women in general. Or specifically the ones in Magaluf. Stuff it. Mm. If he does manage to do it, arguably it's his, it might, one of the most impressive things done in football. Mm. Mm. One of the most impressive things done in football, if he does this. Are you, are you never seen, you, had, you did not watch the Wembley Cup 2018, did you? Anytime we see Jess take a shot, we better know it's landing up in Roji. There it is! Oh. Oh, Jez had the big opportunity. Same, which camera's the A camera, this one? See that mask when you're with me. I don't care about your past or your history. Jack has the financial backing of his dad, one of Britain's richest men. Does he? I can probably guess that from the fact he's leaning against a stone fucking lion. I can't even afford a stone. Or a lion. <laughs> Here's the Chinese garden. And the fish. Why a Chinese garden? No idea. Jesus Christ, nothing screams that you don't know what to do with your money than buying a Chinese garden. Who needs a Chinese garden in Essex? <laughs> you don't need a Chinese garden there, do you? Does anyone need, do the Chinese need Chinese? Actually, I guess every garden in China are Chinese gardens, technically. 
But apart from that, you know, I don't want to be too harsh on Jack here, but he he does remind me a little bit of Lenny from Of Mice and Men. Oh, only only pet the rabbits, pet the rabbits, fish. Oh, fish. So he's just. I'm sure he's lovely. I'm sure he's fine. He has such a big responsibility. Do you know what he does? No, no idea really. No idea. Oh, so good. That is so goddamn good. She absolutely ruined him. Do you have any idea uh, what he does? Uh, no, generally no idea. Because he does fucking nothing. Do you remember when we were in Spain? Yeah, and you were in South 14. He wanted it and he's, I'm on, I'm on my son lounger and he goes, Mum, 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 will you buy me, West, well, it was called West Ham Ladies then, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Will you buy me? And I said, do you know what you're taking on, Jack? No, he was 14. What mentalist? Goes to the mum on holiday in Spain. Is that? Uh, mum, can I have something, please? Yes, that's fine. So, what would you like? Um, a, a Calippo? Uh, a ninety-nine flake? Uh, I want West Ham ladies. Uh, you can have a fucking Calippo, you stupid idiot. Actually, no, none. You can have nothing. Get in the sea. Don't come back out. Dad said, "Can we find out what the wing up from Netherlands?" And that's her. I'll have a little Google. You know she's going to be on Sandra Bush with us. I know, but he said... If they that sense, is he yeah. going to pay for it? He said if, yeah. I think if we just offer like... Like 20 and just say, look, take it or leave it, this type of thing. I think she'll end up playing right. Do you? I think she'll do one more year before she stops to play to have a baby. Oh my god, he's so confused. He's so confused that he's been denied something for the first time in his life. No, no, you can't buy this Dutch footballer for 20. Good negotiation tactic, that. 20. Take it or leave it. 20 what? Yen? Why am I talking like this? <laughs> I think the match are thrown into the deep end. Do I have a sink or swim? Uh, and to be honest, I think I've done a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least he's honest, to be fair, but oh, don't worry, mate, you definitely cannot swim. But if you want to try, pop down to the lake, maybe pet a rabbit, and just, you know, you could try swimming after you pet the rabbit. Right, the mic's up here now. This is... This is genuinely a kick in the face to women's football. Putting some 18-year-old who knows nothing as a managing director of a professional competitive football club. He's clearly got the mental capacity of, I don't know, a, a long rubbery wobbly object that you put inside you. That was um, that was a call back to the beginning because the whole theme was that um, his parents, his, his dad made his money selling uh, toys of the uh, adult nature. If you if you enjoyed that, um, don't forget to click like and uh, I give Jack Sullivan a solid dildo confirmed. Confirmed dildo. Confirmed dildo. Confirmed dildo. I shall now officially christen him Dildo Son, supreme leader of all of China. If you've enjoyed this video, please smack that sub subscribe button. It would really help in my goal to be even more socially. Inept. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna stay inside my entire life. And apart from that, uh, you know, I'm off to go buy something for 20.